Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, so I just had a channeled message that I wanted to um, share with you guys. Um, just as I was like getting ready for bed and everything, I was like, oh god, I'm not going to get dressed again to do like a visual. So, you know, blackout reading. But I just wanted to just, um, I may do an episode about this on my other channel, but um, you know... I've already got a few episodes premiering for every Friday. If you guys want to watch that, The Truth Hats, it's in the description box. But um, I thought I would just, because it's like, i got the channel message right now. I'm just going to share it with you guys. So whoever this is for, you know. But um, I'm hearing that don't take it personal, okay? And this is for people who, sorry if you can hear that, that's my fucking um, kettle in the background. Um this is for like low people who are on like a higher frequency or when you're raising your vibration you're gonna find that like you have low tolerance for 111 just as i said that for things like you're just there's certain things you just can't put up with there's certain things or certain people certain places certain energies that you just can't be around and um it just is what it is like when you are raising your frequency and you're raising your um energy field like it's like you're literally like above the bs like literally things are like above you're above and beyond like mediocre minor minuscule obsolete um things and you'll find as well that like the more you go into like solitude well the more you you raise your frequency the more you're gonna um be in solitude but you're gonna feel comfortable you know and you may face different types of challenges because um you're raising your consciousness which is bringing you closer to the device bringing you closer to the higher power and so there's going to be energies around you that's going to try and like hold on to you and like bring you back down and put you back in that lower frequency um and you're beyond that and so it's like people will take it personal but you can't take people's reactions personal because you have disconnected from a frequency like if you can't tolerate certain things you don't have to feel guilty about that and you don't have to feel like you need to continue to um, sacrifice yourself to fit into someone else's energy field that you just don't belong in or you just don't resonate with. And also, if you are the person that's on the lower frequency, you can't take it personal either if like certain people don't want to be around you or hang with you anymore and you see that you know, people are not really wanting to converse with you anymore because um, you have to understand that your frequency level is low and it's draining. It's draining to those who are on a high vibrational frequency because you're literally sucking the energy and the life out of individuals. You know what I mean? And it's like hard sometimes to say to someone like, listen, I don't like your energy or I don't like, you know, the things that you do because then you get, people will see you as judgmental or they'll feel like you're making them feel bad about themselves or they feel like they can't be themselves around you or they're going to start acting shifty and like only telling you certain things because they're afraid of what you're going to say and you know that alone can tell you that where our energy shouldn't be intertwined because if you feel like you have to hide certain things because you don't want to be judged or you feel like you're going to be judged then that means that you need to be around people who resonate with the energy field that you're currently in. You know what I mean? Um, because obviously you don't, you, it's either you're ashamed of your behavior or um, you don't really see anything wrong with it. But then at the same time, of course you must, if you don't want to share. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, the, obviously you recognize that your energy is, um, one second guys. One second. Sorry, guys. I just had to message my little brother back. But yeah, so um, yeah. 
So that's what I'm just going to say, because obviously, like, you know, the closer you get to the divine, um, the closer, the more serious you become about your spirituality, about your pathway, you know, you're going to have to, um, this is why I always say that not everyone is the emperor and the empress and not everybody is of divine frequency. It doesn't matter how much people want to tell themselves, well, I'm spiritual, I'm this, I'm that, because I got sage and I got a couple cards and things. It means that I'm just, no, it doesn't. Do you know what I mean? Like, in order to be like a f fully developed high frequency being, you know, that's somebody who's like cleansed, you know, they let go of bad habits or maybe they didn't have bad habits in the first place, you know, um, I mean, that's somebody who's of real purity, you know, but somebody who ha is disciplined, you know what I mean? They don't keep repeating the same cycles because they understand the lessons. They don't keep going back into the same um places or going back to the same situations that keep hurting them you know they they have the strength the stamina the willpower to continue to move forward because that's the only way that they can ascend they're okay with being alone and going into hermit mode because they have a beautiful connection and relationship with the divine they're not in search of um validation from other people they're not lonely and i feel like they need another partner or another person in order to complete a mission in life because they understand that they are a spiritual being and they are in tune with spirit so when you know it's like the monks you know i mean that's a very um you know kind of extreme example but do you know what i mean when the more in tune with spirit you are the more detached you are from actual reality and life and like people in it you know what i mean and you know a lot of people that go on their spiritual journeys have faced real serious shit and so when you're around other people and they've got like you know dumb little problems with their friends or you know a boy that won't speak to them or um just dumb little shit you're just like rare like you know i fucking faced death last week the week before that this happened the week before that that happened and you know sometimes people don't want to be around others because it's like you're not on my frequency level. So it's like, I'm not going to be able to rely on you or confide in you when it comes to certain stuff because you're not strong enough to be able to deal with it or handle it or even give me any advice or wisdom or guidance. You know what I mean? Because you're on a lower frequency. You can't even guide yourself. So, you know, you can't... And you know, if you say, it, say that to people, they're going to take it personally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they're not going to take it in the way that it should be taken you know it's going to be some five of sword shit or they're either going to ghost you or try to get a one up on you and that's when you know like i can't even have a conversation with you about your behavior and how it's not only affecting you and those around me but around you but how it's affecting myself and when you when you get to that point where you feel like i can't even have a conversation with this person or with these people it's just you know what i mean it's just time to move on you know, you can't compensate with people who can't take accountability for their own behavior or for their own bad habits. And, um, you know, it's just like I said, whatever side you're on, whether you're on the higher frequency or the lower frequency, you can't take shit personal. You know what I mean? It just it is what it is. You just can't vibe with certain people or certain situations. You just outgrow things. Excuse me. You know, that's just what it is you know, and um, you may feel quite isolated, or for those who are on lower frequencies, you may feel angry, you know, or confused, or, you know, oh, that person thinks they're on the high horse, they think they're self-righteous, they think this, they think that, they don't think anything, they know exactly who they are and where they're going, and they're following a path, and um, you know what I mean, some things can't come with them, Negative energy is not welcome um, for where they're going. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so I, that's just the message I was getting is like, don't take it personal if you're someone that's ascending, you know. And I, I would say as well, just explain less. You don't have to say to people, you know what, especially because you may be someone where you're always telling someone, well, this is the reason I feel like why we keep clashing or this is the reason why I feel like this is happening or this. I feel like you could be getting tired of almost having this kind of like patient fucking therapist relationship with people because that's just how your friendships is turning out. That's how your relationships are turning out. 
that's how it is with your family it's like you're always teaching or consoling or you're always fucking healing people and you may just get tired it's like i don't want to have to keep teaching someone how to fucking behave and how to be normal like if you don't know how to get it together now i don't know how to help you because that's what the whole night um dark night of the soul is all about you have to figure shit out for yourself you know what i mean and so like um you know as they say um many are called but only few are chosen and people are chosen for different things. Some people are chosen to stay on the dark side or to be low vibrational energies. And that's just where they still stay. And that's why I say, like, it's not to take it personal or, you know, don't be hard on yourself if you feel like, you know what, I have to let this person go. I have to let these people go, man. Because it's like some people, they're just made to stay where they are. And if you know that you're not supposed to be in that frequency, in that energy, you don't have to, you can't feel guilty for wanting to, to be a better person for wanting to have a purer energy. Some people like being toxic. They like drama. You know what I mean? You'll have people that drink and then they start getting drunk and then going, oh, I feel low, I feel this, I hate feeling like this. It's like, why the fuck do you keep drinking then, idiot? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? But if you say that to someone, because it's a habit, they can't deal with life. They can't deal with their, their own reality. So they have to escape. And that's their form of escapism. They take themselves to a low vibration. And then when they get there, they're all in their feelings. And it's just a cycle. And you may hate seeing that. You don't want to be a part of it. You don't want to feel people's emotions. You don't understand why people keep voluntarily torturing themselves. So if you don't want to be a part of that anymore, that's okay. There is no need for you to feel guilty about that. And for the people that are in that lower vibration, you have to accept and understand that some people, your energy is just too heavy for some people, they just, they can't be around it, you know what I mean, some people as well who are in a lower vibration, they they can be very disrespectful, and then like, if people don't want to be around them anymore, it's like, well, why not, because people don't want to be around people who are disrespectful, if you're someone of divinity, and a high energy, and a beautiful aura, you're not going to go around being a bitch to everyone, do you understand what I'm trying to say, so it's just, you know, there's a time to raise your frequency, and I feel like a lot of the, um, the divine ones that, you know, we're being called into service, like shit's really getting real. And it's so obvious when people are um not of the same frequency as you and you're going to keep getting sent people. You're going to get sent people as well who like appear to be like on a high level of frequency, but they're really not. But you'll be able to sense it real quick. Like I said, your tolerance level. You know what I mean? You're going to have a very low tolerance for, like, certain things. Someone talks to you the wrong way, you're going to call them up about it. You're going to pull them up. You're going to be like, yeah, because last time, when I was talking to someone like you and they said something like that to me, I let it slip. And I kept letting it slip and slide and slip and slide and then it turned into something. So now, you know what, I'm just addressing this there and then. Boom. Someone can't take your energy or it's too powerful or it's too sassy or it's too direct. That, that's good because you know that that person is a weak bitch next move on how do you know what i mean that's not your people that's not someone that's in your frequency that's somebody that's coming to stealth your growth in some type of way or coming to lower your frequency because they can't handle you in your high vibration you know what i mean and if you have to challenge someone on something that they're doing or saying that shouldn't even be a case like you know what i mean you shouldn't have to feel like you need to do that that means that that person is operating from some type of frequency that's not in resonance with yours. Because you shouldn't have to feel like you need to get to that level or have your guard up or start, you know what I mean, getting your sword out and shit. You know, it, it shouldn't even be like that. You should just, your energy just should just flow with someone else's. That's how you know when you're in resonance with someone. When the feeling is mutual, the respect is mutual, everything is mutual. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so um, that's just what I wanted to say. So keep thriving, keep surviving, keep elevating. And, you know, pat yourself on the back as well. If you are someone that's really kind of, you know, saying to yourself, I'm going to stop doing these things. And then you're actually disciplined enough to stop doing them. You know, congratulate yourself. That's an achievement. That's that's success. You know, success means many different things to different people. A lot of people think that because they're on the top and they got loads of money or they've like made it in some arena in their life that they're more successful and they look down on people. But some of those people are the most evil, miserable people on earth. They have nothing else but their stability and their money. 
They don't have love. They don't have um purpose. You know what I mean? They don't have a real connection to divine. They don't have a sane, sound mind. They don't have wisdom. They don't have all the things that's important. Because, you know, it's, um, stability, fame, popularity, that can be taken away from you in a second. I mean, we were taught that back in 2020 when people were fucking stuck in their house and shit. You know what I mean? But we still had the internet at that time. So anyone who was online and shit, they probably were thriving. But there could be a time where the internet fucking gets wiped out. Then what, what the fuck is everybody going to do? When, when you can't get access to attention anymore, then what happens? Do you know what I mean? Your soul is eternal. Everything in life and reality can perish. Your soul is something that lives on and it continues to reincarnate into different realms and different places. But the karma that you carry with you to the following realms and the different places after your body perishes, that's what you're going to have to live on eternally. So what you do in this lifetime is very important. This is why it's so important for certain people when they're focused on like raising their divinity and their vibration and letting go of certain things because they understand the afterlife. They understand their purpose. They understand what's beyond them. So they take shit seriously in this lifetime because it's like some of us, you know, we've been here several thousand times. This is where deja vu comes from. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm, I, why am I here? Okay, if I know that this is my, I'm not reincarnating on this time on earth, I need to make sure that like I, I raise my vibration to the fullest so that when I leave, I could go to my eternal paradise, wherever that may be. Because, you know, when, you, when other people are in their karma and their lower vibration, that shit rubs up on you, you know? When you're, when you're interrupting someone else's karma or when you're allowing somebody to to rub their lower vibration onto you, that then changes and alters your destiny. Because we're all destined for things, but, you know, people have free will at the end of the day. This is why we're always being reincarnated to keep fucking learning lessons and going through cycles. Because it's like, well, last, last lifetime couldn't get shit together. The lifetime before that couldn't get shit together. And to me, that's what hell is when you're repeating the same thing over and over again and you can't get out of it. Like the Eight of Swords when you're just trapped. But you're trapped in there because of your own self. Because that's what the Eight of Swords energy is. It's mental in imprisonment. It's like the person in the Eight of Swords, when you look at the card, they're not actually like, they can actually like take the blindfold off and like walk through the swords. But they have put themselves in that cycle. It's, in, it's the imprisonment of the mind when you are a slave to your own self. That's the real hell. So in order to be, you know, to be able to raise your vibration and to come out of that hell, you need to have control over your own mind. You need to be wise. You need to stop doing certain things and stop hanging around with certain people. Allow, you know, if certain people are stuck in their energies, they're stuck, man. You have to learn to let go and to detach. That's what divinity is. It's not attached to anything. The cosmos is boundless. It's limitless. Everything's all fucking floating in, 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 in the cosmos. There, nothing is attached to anything. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And I always say that the lesson in life is detachment. Like when people like to talk about the soul flame and the twin flame journey, which I'm going to do an episode about on my other channel, um, that lesson alone is about detachment. People are very codependent on one another. You're not supposed to be codependent. You're supposed to be in alignment. There's a difference. This is why there's so much toxic relationships out here. This is why there's a lot of kids made out of war, but not out of love. This is why people value lust, but not love. Why they don't have solid relationships, why people prefer to be with several different people rather than having that one solid person, because that's all you need. That's all you need. People don't have self-worth and self-value, therefore they can't value others. They value things. And things can be taken away from you at any given moment and every, any given time. You know what I mean? But anyway, I said what I said, so yeah. <laughs> that was a download the channel message. Um, if that found you well, let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Hopefully you'll see me. But yeah, I just had to get that out, okay? But I will be doing probably an episode about this 
more in depth um on my other channel the truth hurts at leone cian again if you guys want want to um just see me talk about random shit <laughs> you can go and follow me on that channel um yeah and i'm open to topics as well to kind of discuss and talk about okay but um i'll see you guys in the next video for some more readings bye bye now